So I'm out here in the shop building the next boiler system and I figured I'd just take a moment to make a quick little video about these Taco Sentry zone valves. So a lot of my systems use a single circulator for every zone. Uh, however, on this one, um, it is for baseboard application and I think the shortest loop is about 22 feet. So if I was to use a single circulator on um, that single zone, I'd be over pumping that um, by far. So I chose to design this one with a single pump um, and three zone valves. Um, so these again are the Taco Sentries. They're pretty pretty nice. You could buy them in any configuration. It's actually these two pieces of what you'll get. So it comes connected here. There's a little slot that it'll uh, clip into. This is the actual ball valve itself. Um, this is what gets rotated here on this shaft, which opens or closes the valve. Um, and this is the actuator itself here. So that just slides right over here. It's nice, these are a nice little clip here. You just push in and you could uh, remove them or install them rather quickly. So what's nice about these are a few things. As I said, that they do sell these in different configurations. You could get them with Pro Press uh, fittings. You could get them with sweat fittings. Uh, for this one, I chose threads because I will actually be using a sweat fitting on one side and a Pro Press adapter on the other side. Um, the other thing about these is that once you have this installed, um, if you do ever have an issue with the actuator itself going bad or the motor inside or the circuitry, you could simply pop this off and pop these out. These actually slide right out, these connectors, and replace this individually rather quickly. Um, these things are very well built, so I, I don't know, really know how often you're actually going to be replacing these. There's not tons of moving parts there's not a lot to them uh, but obviously in the event that one was to fail they make it super easy to just be able to swap it over without having to sweat anything unthread anything repress anything um, obviously if the valve itself went bad the ball valve inside or if the um, was to actually leak you know that's sort of you know there's nothing really shortcut to be able to do that you might you might have to replace that part but um, they definitely made it quick and easy to uh, change these over and so far I mean however many I've installed I mean they've they work great I haven't had any issues and I can really vouch for that so um, here's the system over here um, like I said here's the single pump we're going to be using the other two valves so here's the supply side over here on this side is the return um, just in the middle of working on this so we're going to be wrapping this up probably tonight maybe do the wiring on it tomorrow and finish this one um, if you didn't see the video on this system over here, this is for a combi system that can also utilize a outdoor wood boiler. So we uh, included a heat exchanger. I uh, got a video talking about the specific piping configuration, how that works. So staying pretty busy over here. Um, if you got any questions about any boiler systems or how they work or how you could go about installing your own, designing your own, building your own, um, you know, reach out to me, make a, leave a comment below. Um, in the description, I'll leave my info in case you want to get a hold of me and I can help you consult your own build or I can build you uh, a system and ship it out to you. So um, reach out, feel free. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet and we'll see you guys on the next one.